With this problem, we're told that Mitchell left Detroit on the interstate driving south towards Orlando at a speed of 60 miles per hour. Clark left Detroit one hour later traveling at a speed of 75 miles per hour following the same route as Mitchell. And we're asked how long will it take Clark to catch Mitchell. So I went ahead and drew this diagram over here. Uh, just a simple diagram. Mitch left Detroit going 60 miles per hour. An hour later, Clark left Detroit going 75 miles per hour. So we set up our table where using uniform, the uniform motion formula, rate times time equals distance. Well, Mitchell's rate is 60 miles per hour. His time, we'll go ahead and, and I've filled it in the chart, but we'll write it out up here. M equals Mitchell's time. And you can use whatever variables you want. I'm just using the first letters of their names. So C equals Clark's time. So Mitchell's rate is 60 miles per hour. And we put that in the, the, the chart, the table. His time is M as we just defined. So distance equals rate times time, which is 60 M. Clark's rate, we were told, is 75 miles per hour. We defined his time as C, so distance equals 75C. So let's set up our system of equations. First off, we know that their distance is going to be the same. It's how long will it take Clark to catch Mitchell? So when he catches him, they'll have traveled the same distance. So we know our first equation is 60M equals 75C. Now we also know that Clark left Detroit one hour later. So when he catches up to him, he will have traveled one hour less as far as time is concerned. So we know that Clark's time, C, equals one hour less than Mitchell's time, so M minus one. So here's our system of equations. Now we'll go ahead and I'm going to switch colors so we can differentiate what we're doing here. Since C is already solved for in terms of N and M in our second equation, we'll just replace C with what we solved for, with what we set up as our second equation. So 60M equals 75 times, we know C is Mitchell's time, M, minus 1 hour. And now we have an equation that's set up with just m, and we can solve for Mitchell's time. So 60m equals, distribute the 75, 75m minus 75. Subtract 75 from both sides, and we get negative 15m equals negative 75. Divide both sides by negative 15. And we get M equals 5. Because 15 times 5 is 75. So negative 75 divided by negative 15. M equals Mitchell's time is 5 hours. So now we substitute into our other equations or substitute what we solve for into both equations rather substitute m equals five hours so with our first equation we have 60 m equals 75 c so 60 times Mitchell's time 60 miles per hour times Mitchell's time equals 75 miles per hour times Clark's time. So we'll write down our equation. 70 60 M equals 75 C. We solved for M equals 5 hours. So 60 times 5 equals 75 C. So 300 equals 75 C. Divide both sides by 75, and we get 4 equals 
C. So C equals 4 hours. Let's double check with our second equation. C equals M minus 1. Again, M is 5 hours. So C, Clark's time, equals 5 minus 1. So C, again, equals 4 hours. So in short, uh, if we're talking about when Clark left, from the point Clark left, it takes Clark 4 hours to catch Mitchell and at that point Mitchell will have driven five hours so tentatively that is our solution it takes Clark four hours from the time from the time he leaves to catch Mitchell which is five hours from the time that that Mitchell left now let's go ahead and check our solutions. So 60M equals 75C. So 60 times 5. We want to know, does that equal 75 times 4? 60 times 5 is 300. 75 times 4 is 300, so it checks and our first equation so C equals M minus 1 so does this one's pretty simple but does 4 equal 5 minus 1 and yes 4 equals 4 which verifies that it takes Clark 4 hours to catch Mitchell going 75 miles per hour when Mitchell was going 60 m miles per hour in the same direction